It is May, let's see, one, two, three, four, May 5th. <clears throat> and I am out at my property. I had somebody come out and cut the grass. So I came out to see how good of a job they did. Here is um, one side of, I guess, the landmark. My property goes up to the trees, a little bit past the trees. And then all the way down to where the end of those trees are. And as you can see, somebody has an eyesore behind me. Um, but it goes all the way to, if you can see the far trees over there, that's where my property ends. And then all the way to the trees over there, a little bit past them. They actually did a pretty good job. And come on around. And up to the fence there, that is my neighbor. Actually, the husband and wife that I bought the property from, they are actually building them a house closer into Columbia. So my goal is to actually buy that property when they get ready to move out and put my mom in there so I can have a place for her that's close and I can take care of her but we don't have to necessarily live together. And then if you look all the way straight down, which is going towards the street, all of that is my property from the fence over to the tree. So it looks like a big flag. Um, so, but this is, this is my goal. I keep going back and forth. I want to build me a home, but I'm thinking <laughs> the type of home I have partially envisioned in my mind maybe more than the money that I want to spend but we will see right now like most people I'm taking time to get my credit together and let me say this you can pay someone to get your credit together but you can do it yourself and there are things that you can do that you know help your credit score go up like I went and got some of those, you know, those credit cards where you put your own money down and then you can spend up to your money. <laughs> but um, I did that in January and now they have upped me $60. Not a lot, but I don't really use it. I just use it. They say you shouldn't use more than a third of what your um, credit card limit is. So since mine was 300, I would only go up to 100. So I would use it to get gas. And then I would go ahead and pay that off at the beginning of the next month. So I constantly had payments or I might hit it mid month and the first of the month, just so it shows that I'm paying and I have more payments on the books. Um, I just got a credit card to a store, which I'm doing the same thing. So this way I have two lines of credit that I'm being able to show that I'm paying for because the problem is I had a home years ago a really nice home is in Columbia but I ended up having to go into foreclosure and I lost it well, I ended up going into bankruptcy then foreclosure I had that and I had a quadruplex um, apartment building and I ended up losing both unfortunately but I learned a lot through the process so since then I haven't purchase anything but cars and unbeknownst to me when I paid my car off I thought that would be a good thing but really it's not because then it just looks like from what they say you got money you paid your car off but it's not showing you making payments I don't understand that I would think that it would show me being responsible that any money that I got I took it to pay my car off but you know Finances, be it may, I think they're always trying to figure out a way to keep the person on the bottom down and keep the people on the top up. So I'm learning as I go. So hopefully by the time we're able to go back out and really not have to do too much social distancing, I can get back in and finish talking to the builder. I do have um, 
a VA cert that's backing me up. I just need to get a lender that takes VA and that's not the problem. The problem is my credit score. So I'm working on that and sending in letters to dispute anything on my credit that has been on there over seven years or it doesn't belong to me. Hey, does anybody know what kind of tree this is? Do you see, you see those things growing on there? I have no idea what those are. They look pretty creepy. I don't know, I've never seen a tree like that. I thought it was cocoons, but I'm like, man, that's a lot of cocoons. They're all up in the trees. I was standing over here thinking, this would be a good place for a gazebo. It's nice and shady. Um, I was thinking, if you look this way, this is the way I wanted the house to sit, where you can see towards the street and then have um, the street paving coming in and then having a circular driveway so that you could come in, park in the front, and then go back out when you're leaving out. I like that. And then the trees will border the sides of the house. And then back here, I'm putting up a fence so I don't have to see the eyesore behind me. And I don't want a two-story house. I want a one-story because I'm older now and I'm not doing stairs because I have arthritis in my knees and it has really been kicking up. So, no stairs, just want something flat. I would really would like about 2,300 feet. That's about what I had before, which was plenty enough room. I like the formals. So I like having a formal living room and a formal dining room. And in that house, it was pretty neat because I actually had formal living room. Then the family room was like the center of the house. And then I had um, a porch that was closed in and I used it as my office. I had a formal dining room and a breakfast nook. And the kitchen was big enough for an island. Plus it was four bedrooms. So I had um, the room, they call it a mother-in-law suite, where the bathroom goes off of the room. And then they had it where the shower, there was a door, the toilet, there was a door, and then where you wash your hands. So somebody could be in the other parts and you could still go in and wash your hands, you know, if you had company or whatever. And then um, they had the bay windows in the master. And then they had, oh my gosh, I loved it so much because you walked in and um, the closet was humongous and it had the mirrors, but it was like the closet lined two walls, which for me, I needed every bit of that space. So it was very, you know what? I'm just thinking, I might try to design this house after that house. I've been trying to get a floor plan together in my mind, and then I could just change the things that I didn't like about that house into the new house. That's a good idea. I'm glad I did this vlog and I was thinking about that. Parker, come here. So here's Mr. Spreffy. Come here. Here he is. He goes Thursday to get groomed. Thank goodness, because he is looking pretty. Look. Parker, he's looking pretty. Parker, look at him. He's looking pretty raggedy. His coat is wiry and needs to be trimmed down. And that's from me <laughs> doing the shampooing. And I did try to cut around his eyes and ears, but that's grown out some and I didn't really want to mess the cut up too bad. But um, yes, he goes on Thursday to get groomed, get his nails done, get a good shampoo and a cut. And you see how he's like cinnamon. When he was a puppy, he was all cinnamon. Well, he's still a puppy, but when he was a, a baby baby, he was all cinnamon. Now he just has cinnamon on the face, but his coat is more gray and white. And then he has the cinnamon on his um, paws and his face. Well, I thought I would just um, come out here 
and see they did a great job on cutting the grass and if anybody wants to know this is two acres of land so if you want to get an idea about buying land how much two acres look now this is like i said a flag where it's big at one end and narrows down i have no idea what to do with this area down here if anybody has um sorry if anybody has any ideas of what you would do with that other than have a driveway come down I was thinking maybe trees on the side palm trees something lining the driveway coming down greenery things like that who knows I'm sure I'll think of something well thank you guys for tuning in I do have where I'm going to do my second word for COVID. The first word was character for the C. And for the O, I'm going to do obnoxious. So I will be doing that tomorrow because actually my AC is having some issues. And today and yesterday, it has been 88 degrees in South Carolina. And I am in menopause. So that means that I'm sweating like a fat pig. It's cooler for me to be out here. Um, on the land than it is in my house. It's 84 in my house. The pipes froze up because there wasn't enough Freon. So when the guy came out today, he was like, well, I gotta let the pipes unfreeze. That takes about 24 hours. He knows there's a leak, but he can't do anything until the pipes unfreeze. So I thought me and Parker would come over here and do this. Um, I'm going to now go ahead and drop Parker off at the house because I don't want to leave him in the car. Like I said, it's a warm day. And then I'm going to Walmart to get those supersonic blowers because I do have fans, but they're not blowing out cool air. And even those, those fans, the ones that sit on the floor and push out that really powerful air, they, <clears throat> excuse me, they will cool you like a mini air conditioner. So I'm gonna get two of those, one to put in my family room and one to put in my bedroom to assist with the fans that I already have. And hopefully I will make it through the night because last night it was horrible because I don't like being hot and I was trying to sleep and it was hot. So he's promised to come back first thing in the morning. So I pray fully by this time tomorrow, I will have a cool house, but it's only supposed to be 72 tomorrow. So that's a blessing in disguise. All right, guys. Um, I'll probably do my next um, video tomorrow morning when it's cooler because I just, oh, I just can't today. I just can't. I'm melting. I'm melting. All right. Thanks for checking in with Defining Deborah. I will talk with you guys manata. I hope everybody's having an awesome Tuesday, a terrific Tuesday. And if you have any suggestions about topics or you want to ask me about property or buying the property, what I had to go through, um, anything like that. Like I said, this is my second time purchasing. This is my first time buying land. I do have a rental property, a condo on the other side of town. And I had an apartment building before. So I've gotten a little experience in buying properties and things like that to bring in um, more revenue for you. You know, the Bible had in the garden where there was I want to say five streams pouring into the garden which meant there were five streams that was supplying the garden with nourishment that shows us that we should have more than one stream of finances coming into our home to supply us with what we need so look at you know if you got a hobby, something that you like to do that you might want to invest in and somebody else might be willing to purchase, like I have a friend, which I'm going to be posting um, their stuff on my page. He is into making herbals, and let me tell you, it really does work. Um, I've purchased some from him, and he has um, this one called Cold and Flu Buster, which has helped me with my sinuses and my allergies this time of the year because otherwise I would not be able to sit here with the guy cutting his grass over there over there without my eyes watering and I hadn't taken a Benadryl or any type of um, allergy pill today at all um, and then um, brighten brighten early oh, it's such an energy booster it is awesome when you're feeling dragged or tired or you just don't have that get up and go 
but I will uh, make a list of items and I will um, I will just do a video on just um, Harlow and his herbals so that's some of the things that's coming down the pike but like I said if you have a hobby I mean I have done things such as I've sold jewelry really did a great job at that you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do a vlog one day talking about some of all the things I've done to make money and how each one had me a stream of money coming in right now I have the rental properties and um, I do work part-time I do have an interview on Friday for a full-time position at the rehab center that I work at so I'm hoping I get that and I will tell you why when I do the vlog about um, streams of income so I'm starting to sweat like a fat cat so again thank you guys for tuning in to defining Deborah and I'll hit you up tomorrow everybody have a great day enjoy your afternoon and wherever you're at be safe because don't believe the okie doke we still got a pandemic out there bye